Hello, this is Martin Brossman, and I want to talk about my two favorite wireless units by Rode. And it is the Wireless Go 2 and the Dual Wireless Go 2. Now, I know these are a little price, pricey for some small businesses, and they take a little technical work to work with them. Uh, but I want to go through some fundamentals. They will send a digital signal to your system if you connect them properly. And I just got off the phone with their tech support. I've also said to Rhodes, please do more tutorials. You have great units. Okay, this unit has some great features where it will also onboard record with internal memory. What does that mean? If the unit loses a dropout, which I've had before, right? A camera further back, you still have a copy. Now, it takes some work to figure this out. I'm hoping to get more tutorials available for you or get Rose to make them on it, but it's still a very good feature. It's also very good encryption and again, line of sight. Now, let's talk about the connectors you need because the box is clear as mud on how to hook this thing up. So we're gonna go through what I just got from support. So you have this unit, you want to connect it to your iPhone with the lightning connector and there are two connectors, see this? This is USB-C to the lightning connector. That will give a digital connection, high quality to the phone, very important. It works with several other units, but especially this. There are two models of this, the 19, and the 21, and one is longer than the other. So it depends on how long you need that cord. So the 19 and the 21 is how you'd connect it to your iPhone directly, okay? Then the next thing is what about the mics? If you want a separate wireless mic, this is recommended as the best shielded. The next thing is the microphone. If you want to attach a lavalier to it, you've got such a high quality unit, investing in their best shielded lavalier is what I recommend, and that's the lavalier 2. I have the first generation of the wireless. It's a bigger pack, and apparently they claim this also works with that as well, but this is to get the best quality. You see how it's mic'd on there and information. So I really recommend that as well. And if you're going to spend the money on it, now that's, you know, that's going to add another hundred dollars, but I just want to show you best quality audio is so important. And then the other thing is if you want to connect to a, a computer, your, your receiver module, if you want to connect that directly to an old school USB, I'd recommend buying their cable because you might get a transmission cable that's not as good at high speed, and this will do it. What does this mean? For example, when I'm speaking, I might be presenting live simulcast, and I like to move around a lot, and of course, I'll move outside the range of the speaker. Uh, so this way, I can have this clipped on my lapel and plug it in and give a much higher quality connection, or if you have a computer that has the older connect. And then this one here is directly connecting USB to USB-C that will work with that module, and uh, it will give you a high quality connection for the unit. I do recommend the manufacturer unless you're technical enough to know you're getting a very high quality cable. I'll put all these links in below. I uh, the, again, the reason I like Rhodes is good quality, reliable, and the support uh, under warrant. The tech support you can call, you need to call during the daytime hours, has been very good. And that's why I love the Rhodes mics, because of the quality. It's worth more. When I'm speaking and training, I can't afford problems. So my favorites are the Dual here, which will let you interview someone and then the single. Now, there's also a magnetic attachment to this that's really cool. One more accessory. I know this adds up, but again, you know, start with what you can afford and move forward on it. This is one more feature that's really nice. Again, this add-on will add expense, but this is the mag clip, and the mag clip will let you clip it over clothing, uh, and I'll show you here when you look at it. Uh, See if they show it 
it clips on there and then clips over clothing. The only thing to note with this is it's only one. So if you have two of the modules, you'll need two. You don't need one on the receiver, of course. And then there's one more. See how it's clipping behind the outfit? Really nice feature it has. Now, there's one more thing they have which is the uh, three-clip version. Again, if you have this double module, you'll need two of these. And it gives a cross-clip. Never, I have not used that with this. But uh, then it also has what it calls a vampire clip that would kind of be like pins that would stick in. And if we look at the picture here, this is one. See, that's clips on. That must be that other clip. There we go. And then uh, that's the, the one that would... Uh, stick into something. The mag is the one I like the most. I mean, that's really useful. Obviously, I'm sure if there's a high level of activity, that might be a problem. This completes this video. This is Martin Brossman. Make sure to click subscribe in the bell so you'll see future ones. But I wanted to explain this because it can be overwhelming and I've recommended these units to every everybody. I do hope Rhodes will make a tutorial showing more about this and explaining uh, some other of the wonderful features of these, which I think will sell more units. But I love them. I've also purchased the case. Uh, it, they come with their own case, but I got a, a little extra case you can find uh, that's a design and holds these. And I, I um, just example, I put all the cables and everything into it. You can look those up. There are a number of them online. Uh, as far as I know, uh, uh, Rhodes does not sell that case, but I like the extra. And then I use a Sharpie to write my name and number on it uh, as well. Remember, click subscribe in the bell. Look forward to hearing your comments. Take care. Bye.